Hi everyone, I am Miss Savage. I am going to be teaching you music this half term and music is my favourite subject. I am super excited to be here and I hope that I've planned for you a wonderful musical journey. Before we get started, I need you to grab for me just one thing and that one thing is a plastic cup or a plastic beaker. We are going to use it for some rhythm exercises later on in this lesson. Ask for help if from an adult if you need to, but come back with one plastic cup. Pause the video and then fetch a cup and I'll be here when you get back. So boys and girls, I have heard that you have been practicing your rhythms by playing the game Don't Clap This One Back. And I really want to play it with you today to get us started, to get us warmed up, to get us in the musical mood. So you can either clap along or if you like, you can grab yourself something to hit. And as Beta, um, I have this little uh, plastic wooden box thing and I've got myself a little fluffy Beta just so that you can hear me really clearly. So recap, you are listening out for this rhythm. Don't clap this one back. And that is a rhythm. When you hear that, I want you to pull a funny face. I want you to do a silly move, but I want you to not clap it back to me. It's gonna work in a call and response. So I'll play a rhythm. And I want you to clap it back or play it back on your instrument. So let's have a practice round. Let's have a warm up. Remember, don't clap this one back. Instead, you're gonna pull a funny face or make a funny move. Here we go. Your turn. Did you hear it? Did you pull a funny face? Did you do a funky movement? That was the rhythm you were listening out for. I hope you got it correct. So let's add a little bit of a sense of tempo. Now, I know that some of you have used these words before in previous lessons. Um, what does tempo mean? Can anybody remember what tempo means? It means how fast or slow something is. Okay, so it's the beat and it's how fast or slow something is. So I'm gonna try and tap it with my foot. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. And we're gonna go with our, don't clap this one back again at this tempo. One, two, three, four. Did it get you? Did it catch you out? Or did you hear that rhythm and make your funny face? Good, so we can do our tempos a little bit quicker if we wanted to. Here we go, round two. One, two, three, four. There was that rhythm straight away. Did it catch you out? Did you do your funny face or your move? Let's go again. Here we go. Tempo. One, two, three, four. Good. Give yourselves a round of applause for the work that you were doing. So far, well done. I am going to add one more element into our Don't Clap This One Back, and I want you to see if you can match that element as well. So I'm going to add in some dynamics. What does dynamics mean? It means loud and quiet, so really loud. Good, or really quiet. Okay, 
So you can think about how you can clap this. If you're clapping, your rhythm's using your hand. So you might want to clap really loud, or you might want to choose to click for your quiet sound. So I'm going to do with this one with clapping for those of you that are clapping along at home. So thinking about the dynamics, but also listening out for that rhythm. When you hear that rhythm, a solid face or a funky move. Okie dokie, here we go. One, two, three, four. There it is, there's that rhythm again. Did you do a funky move, funny face? Boys and girls, give yourselves a round of applause for that starter task. Hopefully that will have got you thinking, that will have got your brain engaged, ready for some music before we move on to our next task. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at rhythm. I'm sure you've done some rhythm work before, but it's really good to recap what we know so that it's all fresh in our minds, ready for this half term. I'm gonna recap, then I'm going to teach you some rhythms in preparation for singing next week so that we can combine the two of them together. So here is my do-it-yourself whiteboard from my working at home space. And this is where we're going to start with our rhythms. I'm sure you have seen each of these symbols before in previous lessons. But as a recap, I have decided to put some words with them so that we are really clear what they are. So this one is called a crotchet. And as you can see, it's worth one beat. Okay, these are quavers and they're slightly quicker and we clap them together. So we have five 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 can you clap that for me after four one two three four fly spider fly spider well done good job we have some more complicated ones over here we have grasshopper grasshopper and we have butterfly butterfly you can see that grasshopper goes slow faster butterfly faster slow okay so we have grasshopper grasshopper butterfly butterfly can you have a go at clapping that for me after four one two three four grasshopper grasshopper butterfly butterfly excellent our last one then is four claps so this is a lot quicker caterpillar 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 have a go at clapping that for me after four one two three four caterpillar 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 excellent good work the last one we have is a rest okay so this squiggle is a rest so we use the word moth or just a shh so we can have fly spider fly you want to do let's try that fly spider fly shh, after four all together one two three four fly spider fly shh, and again fly spider fly shh. good excellent so once we've got our rhythms and we know each of them and how we would clap them we can start putting them into a sequence and start developing a song. I know you did some songwriting a little while back and potentially this is how we started with some rhythm. So I have some really simple ones here and we're gonna clap them through to make sure that we know each of our rhythms and then you're going to start creating some of your own before we move on. So here we have, I haven't written the words down for this one, I am still here. So here we have fly, spider, Spider fly. Grasshopper, grasshopper, shh, fly. Let's have a go at clapping that 
all together after four. One, two, three, four. Fly, spider, spider, fly. Grasshopper, grasshopper, fly. Did you get that? A round of applause for yourself if you did. Well done. Let's have one more go at it together. After four. One, two, three, four. Fly. Spider, spider, fly. Grasshopper, grasshopper, fly. Excellent. I want you to use these rhythms really quickly to see if you can come up with a line of your own. So you need to pick four of them or you can repeat some of them and come up with your own rhythm. Have a think about it first and then I'll count you down ready to clap your rhythm. Which ones are you going to use? You've got grasshopper, butterfly, caterpillar, fly, spider. Have you thought of a rhythm that you can clap? As you are clapping your rhythm, I want you to say the words out loud because they'll really help you make sure that you're clapping your rhythm correctly. Okay, here we go. After four with your very own rhythm. One, two, three, four. Good, hopefully you managed to fit your rhythm into that time. What we are going to do is we are going to clap my rhythm, fly, spider, spider, fly, fly. Oh, sorry, grasshopper, grasshopper, Shh. fly. And then I want you to add your rhythm into the next row. Are you ready? Starting with fly, spider, spider, fly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, fly. Spider, spider, fly. Grasshopper, grasshopper, shh. Fly, your rhythm, go. Excellent. Good, so give yourselves a round of applause. Hopefully you managed to fit in your rhythms and hopefully you had a go at using a few of these different rhythms in your own version. How could we make this more interesting instead of just clapping rhythms and shouting out fly? Well, I am sure you have used these words before. I hope they look familiar. Dynamics. What does dynamics mean? Loud and quiet. Good. Tempo is fast and slow. We did a little bit of that and I don't clap this one back. Pitch, high or low and duration and rhythm are tied in with how long our notes are. So what we could do to make this more interesting is we could apply, we could use some of our dynamics. So what I am going to do is anything that has a black cross on it, going to be loud. Everything that doesn't have a black cross on it is going to be quiet. Okay, so let's see now if we can clap this rhythm. We've got fly, loud, spider, spider, which is loud, fly, grasshopper quiet, grasshopper loud, simple, and then fly loud. So when we do our quiet ones, we can use our whisper voices. Okay, here we go after four, starting with our loud fly. One, two, three, four. Fly. Spider. Spider. Fly. Grasshopper. Fly. Did you get that? Excellent. What we could do to make it even more interesting is to add some body percussion so that we're not just clapping we're not just clicking our fingers. So, anything that has a circle, anything that has a circle, we are going to tap the top of our body 
okay so anything that has a circle we're going to tap the top of our bodies now some of them have a black cross and some of them black x and some of them have a circle they have both so that means we need to be loud and use our chest so obviously don't do it so you hurt yourself but make sure that we're not quiet to be tapped okay here we go then starting from our fly after four one two three four five five oh our spider should have been quiet then i'm sorry let's start again after four one two three four five Spider, fly, crossbopper, crossbopper, fly. I could have done better on this one. Shall we give it another go, boys and girls, and see if we can do better than I did just then? After four, here we go. One, two, three, four, fly. Spider, grasshopper. Fly. Much better. Hopefully you did much better that time. Boys and girls, give yourselves a round of applause for the work that you have done so far. You are doing so well. Okay, for the next part of the lesson, I need you to grab your plastic cup. Okay, I have my plastic cup on a wooden board and I'm sitting on the floor just so you can hear it um, because you wouldn't hear it very well on the carpet. So grab your plastic cup um, and you can keep it on the carpet, that's fine. It's just so that you can hear me, um, but you can put it on to a book or um, a folder if you want instead so that you can hear it and it's nice and clear. Okay, so we have a plastic cup and we have our wooden board. I'm just gonna hold it up here for now and then I'll show you my hands on the floor shortly so we have our rhythms fly spider grasshopper fly and we could do these rhythms with our cup fly spider grasshopper fly cool a little boring though eh so we need to find different ways of using our instrument the thing that we have to make it a little more interesting so we can have fly spider so we're going to tip our cup on spider and then we're just going to roll it on grasshopper and then fly. So we have fly, spider, grasshopper, fly. Okay? And even though we're rolling it, we can still say our rhythm. Let's have a go all together. After four, one, two, three, four. Fly, spider, grasshopper, fly. Excellent. Hopefully you manage that. Let's try it once more. One, two, three, four. Fly, spider, grasshopper, fly. Excellent. Good work. We can apply that to more of the same rhythm. So we can have fly, spider, grasshopper, fly. So we're going to have grasshopper, grasshopper, spider, fly. Okay, so the second part, grasshopper, and it's going to have to roll back the other way, grasshopper, spider fly okay so we've got fly spider grasshopper fly grasshopper grasshopper spider fly okay try that for me boys and girls with your cup really slowly after four are we ready are we ready here we go one two three four Fly, spider, grasshopper, fly, grasshopper, grasshopper, spider, fly. Excellent. Let's have another go at that so we know that we've super got it and we're ready. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. Fly, spider, grasshopper, fly. Grasshopper, grasshopper, spider, fly. Excellent. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. 
and that is something that you can practice with your cup between now and next lesson. So boys and girls, I am still here. I am just a little bit out of the screen so that you can see what I am doing with my cup on the board and it will be easier for you to copy. So I am going to teach you the rhythm from the cup song. Okay, I'm going to teach you the rhythm from the cup song because next week I would like to do some singing and add the singing into the rhythm work that we have done today. So I'm going to teach you the rhythm cup part of the cup song so that we can add in the singing next week and you're going to practice it over the next few days. So you need to have your cup facing down to start with, okay? You need to have cup facing down to start with and you can re-watch this video as many times as you like to help you out with learning it, okay? Here we go. The start of the rhythm is to clap twice. So we're going to clap, one, two. Then you are going to hit your surface. So in this case, I'm gonna say this is a table, okay? So we're gonna clap, clap, table, table, okay? So we've got clap, clap, table, table. So we're going to clap, Again, we're going to lift our cup up and then put it down. So we've got clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Try that for me, boys and girls, after four, really slowly. One, two, three, four. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. If you say the words, it will help you out. So here we go, let's try again. From the beginning, after four, here we go. One, two, three, four. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Excellent, did you get that? Did you get that correctly? Did you remember your up and down? Did you remember all your claps? Let's try it once more for luck before moving on to the next part. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to increase the tempo. What does tempo mean? Fast and slow. Excellent. So we are going to do it a little bit faster, okay, so that we can get used to moving our hands and our cup a little bit quicker. After four. One, two, three, four. Clap, clap. Table, table, clap. Up, down. And again. Clap, clap. Table, table, clap. Up, down. Once more. Clap, clap. Table, table, clap, up, down. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause for the hard work that you have done so far. There is another little section to go on to the end of this one and then we will have learnt the whole thing. Okay, so the second half of the cup song, we are going, I'm just going to move my cup so you can see my hands. We're going to go clap, then we're going to sweep the cup across our board or our table or our book. So we're going to go clap, sweep. We're going to hit the top of the cup with our hand and then the cup's going to hit the table. Okay. Let's have a look at that bit again. We're going to clap, sweep, hit the top of the cup and hit the table. Try that little bit after four. One, two, three, four. Clap, sweep, hit the table. Excellent. Okay, we are then going to hit the bottom. So we're going to keep the cup in our hand here, hit the table. We're going to hit the bottom of the cup and we're going to grab it kind of thing. And then we're going to switch our hands to the side and put it down. So it's hit the table. We're going to hit the bottom of the cup, grab it, swap our hands and then put it down on the table where it started. Okay, so watch that whole phrase 
I will say it and do it really slowly and then we'll practice it all together. So we're going to go clap, sweep, top, hit the table, bottom, hand, down. Let's try it together, girls and boys, really slowly. One, two, three, four. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. How did you get on? Tricky? This section is a little bit trickier than the one before. Let's try it once more before we really slowly add it all together. Here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. Clap. Sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Well done, girls and boys. You are doing so well. Let's try it really slowly from the top. I'm going to show you once, and then you're going to do it with me. So we're going to go clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down, clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Here we go, after four, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. And again, clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down, Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Excellent. Boys and girls, give yourselves a huge, huge round of applause for the work that you have done. If you have it, just for those people that do, you can obviously do it a little bit quicker at a faster tempo. If not, don't worry, you can keep practicing. We'll keep it nice and slow for the start of this lesson just whilst we are learning. We have come to the end of our lesson, but it isn't the end of the cup, okay? I want you to keep practicing for our next lesson. I also need you to bring your singing voices because we are going to do some singing in the lesson as well and put it together with our cup. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to, so much look forward to, seeing you next lesson. Take care, girls and boys. Bye-bye.